it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. The past couple months I've been doing a lot to my hair. I finally cut the red out which I had been wanting to do for so long since January and I've been through a lot this year needless to say but I was finally able to do it. I did record my process and I filmed it. I will link the video above so you can watch it in full detail if you'd like. And I really love the way this cut came out. It frames my face so well and gives me tons of volume, which you know I love. Next, I decided to color my hair and I used the L'Oreal Superior Preference in the shade number five. I also filmed a video, I'll link right here. Everything was self-explanatory. Everything you need came right in the box, which is very convenient for me. I really liked how convenient this overall process was. I just mixed step one and two together in the applicator bottle and worked the color all the way down from my roots down to the length of my hair and my curls they pop so I didn't have to worry about going out to the store getting the color mixing bowls developer a brush for my hair and all of that to add very convenient it wasn't really messy for me at all so you know it's a plus I love the way my curls were clumping together that way I know that this is working for me my hair did not dry out at all it didn't feel brittle dry and even after I washed it, my curls were still clumped together. And this is what I was talking about. You could really see those curls clumping in action. I decided to color my eyebrows as well because my natural hair is this warm reddish brown and it's light. So to go from a lighter brown to this deeper brown, I definitely needed my brows to match just the form to my face. And this is how my curls look after I rinse the color out. They were very moisturized. Then I went to the shampoo just to make sure that my scalp was nice and clean, very healthy. You know, a healthy environment for my hair to thrive. This shampoo is so amazing. It has to be in my top three for sure. Just look at those juicy curls. And lastly, I use this Color and Shine conditioner that came in the pack from the L'Oreal Superior Preference box. And I use five boxes of the hair color and the conditioner. And here's how my hair looked after rinsing the conditioner out. Now it is on to styling my hair. Of course, I use a cotton t-shirt just to absorb the excess water and not frizz my hair up. And now to style. I'm not in my filming room where I typically film my videos. I'm in my bathroom. So let me know if you do like this setup so you know I can switch it up every now and then. I decided to do a deep side part like I typically do. I just feel it frames my face a whole lot better than a middle part. And after I separated my hair and my fours, my quadrants, 
I'm misting with a lot of water. And then for my leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Olaplex number six. I love this so much because it helps to repair the bonds in your hair. Say if you straightened your hair or you have colored it, it's great for just repairing your hair, preventing damage. So I'm going to mist my hair with a good amount of warm water and then apply this Olaplex number six all throughout. And to help seal that moisture in, I'm applying my oil. Yes, my oil. I've mentioned here on my channel that I'm coming out with a natural hairline. So there are many products in the works. I'm still working on it because I want it to be perfect. But just know that a lot of TLC, long nights, care, dedication have gone into these products. So I'm applying about two to three dropperfuls of the oil to both my hair and scalp. And of course, I'm making sure to work the oil in very well. And lastly, for my styler, I'm using this one from African Pride. This is their gel and cream. I really like it because it's a nice hybrid between a cream and a gel. So typically when I want my hair to have a nice hold, I use this product right here. You have seen me do so many twist outs before. I'm gonna link some down below in the description box. This video was more so just showing you how I'm doing the first hairstyle after coloring my hair. Not a tutorial, but just letting you see. And I'm making sure to detangle my hair after using that gel and cream, smoothing the products in with both your fingers and a rat tail comb make a world of a difference with how your twist out is going to look and last. And I love using a rat tail comb just to smooth my hair down, make sure that it's detangled and get all of those hairs in the same direction. It really helps with how your twist out is going to look and last in the long run. Just trust me, use a rat tail comb, make sure that your hair is very smooth to the touch and also just smooth in general. It will make a big difference.
Fast forward, I'm finished twisting all of my hair and I love the way it looks. I don't have any parts sticking out or I don't have any areas where I feel that it needs to be redone, especially the ends of my hair. They're curling up, which is perfect. And now to the next day, my hair is completely dry, which is a huge tip. Make sure that your hair is completely dry before unraveling. I did apply a little bit more of my oil to prevent frizzing. I don't like when my hair gets frizzy. I like a lot of volume and definition, so when I get the both, it's like both of best worlds. I am going to clamp up some of my hair just to make sure I can focus on what I'm unraveling. And I'm gently unraveling my hair and separating the curls about three to five times depending on how much volume I want in that area and also how much definition I know I will have. Now I'm in my room still unraveling these twists and I really like the results that I'm getting. My hair feels like hair, it's not damaged, I still had that moisture. And I'll show you this sheen in a little bit, but I really like the way that this cut frames my face, this color frames my face, and also just the endless possibilities of hairstyles that are coming to mind. This hairstyle and color are a win in my books. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. And I really enjoy you for supporting me, everything you do, for watching the video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!